online bullying. I guess it could stretch into bullying in general when it comes to verbal sides of things, but online bullying. Okay. Definitions. Some of you will refuse to answer that question of what online bullying is. And you'll want to answer it with a question, well, who gets to decide? Well, people get to decide. Well, what gives them the right? Um, what gives anyone the right to define anything? <laughs> so, um, but online bullying. When someone says something to someone, to just make them feel as bad about themselves as possible. They don't actually have a point in what they're saying. There's no... It's not an argument against anything that the person is talking about. It's just designed to make the person feel bad. Whether it actually does make them feel bad or not, it's designed to. It's an insult or something that is said that is mean, nasty, or cruel for no other purpose than to say something mean, nasty, or cruel. Oh yes, there could be one purpose, and that's what it usually is used for when online bullying occurs. Online bullying is usually used to try to stop someone else from stating their opinion. This can be shaming someone for having an opinion. Sometimes it can be shaming someone for fitting a demographic. Oh, you're gay, so let's shame you for being gay. Oh, you're black, let's shame you for being black. Oh, you're white and you're cisgendered. Oh. Die, white, cis scum. Bullying. Oh, you're just a racist. Racist. You're just a bigot. 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 And all these people step in. That's bullying. Those things are bullying. Now what's ironic to me is that the people who are trying to argue that stopping, like someone deleting a comment that is just a bullying comment is a violation of your free speech. It's rather ironic because it's like you're upset that someone is stopping you from saying something that will stop someone else from saying something. That's kind of twisted, if you ask me. There are a number of people out there who just seem to want to defend bullying. And you want to make it impossible to talk about. You know, you'll say, well, what constitutes bullying? Well, I'm trying to discuss that. Well, who is to say, you know, whether th what they're saying is designed to hurt someone? So you try to talk about words hurting people. Well, words technically don't hurt people. It's the intent. Okay, the intent in conjunction with the words. Well, then they'll find some other way to get out of the idea that Bullying has negative consequences. Um, there'll be some people who will say, well, you know, bullying doesn't really, it, it, it doesn't hurt a conversation. Complete chaos doesn't hurt a reasonable conversation. There are people actually trying to argue this. The ones who try to say that words don't really hurt people, they're the same type of people who would say, and I actually had this discussion with someone, they're the same type of people who 
would, if someone says, well, you know, I mean, the sky is blue. And the person, well, technically it's not really blue. It's more of kind of a mirage. It's, and they'll go into this long explanation. It's just like, yes, we know that if you go technically, it's not really blue. Okay, fine. Um, it appears blue. Well, then they'll find some other thing. Well, see, it might appear blue, but it's not really... See, they will find any way that they can avoid actually having the discussion. And they want to make... They want to try to push out that they're so intelligent because they can explain this stuff. They want to completely avoid the discussion. It'd be like if... Uh, we're talking about a television and someone says something like, Oh, and when this moved up the screen... Oh, well, technically, no, does nothing moves up the screen. It's just visual images that tricks your eyes. Yeah, that sort of thing, right? So, so the words themselves don't hurt people. Yes, that's true. The words themselves don't hurt people. The intent has to be behind it. it just any way that you try to discuss the negative parts about bullying, these people will try to twist it around to say, well, bullying is good. Or bullying isn't bad. Not necessarily that it's good, but bullying isn't bad. It doesn't really have anything negative. I think these people are kind of sick in the head. It is people trying to defend being like elementary school kids that are bullying someone on the playground. See, as I said before, we never really grow up. The only things that give us the appearance of growing up is our environment changes. The scenarios we put ourselves through or are put through change. Before the internet, we didn't really, like, if you, gra you graduated from high school, well, now, now you don't have to deal with any of that shit again. Not very much anyway. You definitely didn't have to deal with the shit that you dealt with in elementary school. But now we do again. And we've got these messed up people defending that. Those of you defending this stuff, you are defending people acting like children. And some of you defend this to the point where you look like sociopaths. Okay, and again, it is really, really ironic that some of you would complain and, and claim that someone stopping you from bullying someone is violating your free speech when the reason why you're bullying them is to stop someone else from being able to state what they want. Oh, well, they need to have a thicker skin. Well, where do you draw that line? Someone getting a comment once in a while that's mean is fine. But when someone gets dogpiled, then if they turn off comments, you'll say they're violating your free speech. <laughs> you'll say they're violating your free speech if they disable ratings. So the whole thing is some of you just want to defend your your desire to bully people. You want to spread hate. You want to spread negativity. You want to make people feel like shit about themselves. And you're, you're using convoluted reasoning to do it. Now, Baring wasn't arguing that. But some of Baring's fans have been. And to those of Baring's fans and other people who are, say, who are saying that sort of shit, let me repeat something, okay? 
freedom of speech is referring to legal sides of things. If the government isn't fining you, if you are not being arrested for saying something, then you still have freedom of speech. If you're on somewhere like YouTube and someone blocks you, you still have the right to do whatever the hell you want on your channel. So, stop propping up acting like elementary school kids. Stop propping that shit up. 